Christy K and I am back with another pattern video. Um, if you've been following my journey, I've tried pretty much all of the products um, as far as like styling, shampoos, conditioners, um, but they released some new products. They have the treatment mask and then they now have the scalp serum. So I picked these up and today is a wash day and if you guys have been following my big shop journey, I am on like a year and eight months. I'm so proud of my little poofy puff. I have made it this far. I feel very accomplished. Um, this natural hair journey has been a lot of work, but it's worth it. My hair is colored and beautiful, still very healthy. Um, she has these new products. So what I want to do today is um, do my full pattern routine, which consists of, I have the hydrating shampoo and the conditioner. I'm going to use these because I just want to see how everything works together. I like to use products together. And I'm going to incorporate this treatment mask. This is not your typical mask. Um, it has rice water in it. It's not like a regular like deep conditioner because still you're supposed to follow up with like the heavy conditioner and do this as a treatment or the intensive conditioner um, and do that as a treatment. And then the scalp serum, a rest, is supposed to give your scalp some relief as well as hydrate your hair or like this is perfect when you got braids that's too tight this is perfect for when you get your wig done and braid it up put this on underneath and then i'm gonna follow it up with my holy grails y'all if you guys know you know these are my holy grails this is the leave-in conditioner top of the curl gel my favorite hair cocktail to date hands down and then i add a little line extreme on that so um i am going to dive into this wash day and I'm gonna come back with freshly washed hair. By the time you get to me, it's gonna be time to put this mask on. Okay, so I am freshly washed. Um, and now I'm gonna move into the treatment mask. And this treatment mask, um, you're supposed to apply it on wet detangled hair before or after cleansing. In my case, it's gonna be after. Um, let it sit on your hair for five to 10 minutes. So I'm going to use this and then I'm going to use my regular conditioner, my intensive conditioner as my leave-in and I'm going to leave that on for 30 minutes. So my hair is already detangled, I still like the section. Alright, so let's see what we got. Oh, there's two lids, I guess it's juicy. Okay, so it reminds me of like a hair jelly so let's see what this is talk talking about and this is like a rice water infused treatment i know there's plenty of like rice water diys at home on youtube but i hear that it smells like ass and i don't really want to do that i'd rather just buy something with it in it and do that if i'm being honest this don't really smell that nice either so my hair already feels really soft like i love the way that my hair feels right now so after I'm done with this mask, I'm gonna come back in 10 minutes after I've rinsed it and I'm gonna let you know how this hair feels before I move into my conditioner. My hair is definitely defined. It defined my curls a lot. I don't wanna, I don't wanna say it feels soft. I guess the best way to describe it is like strong, if that makes any sense. But it is very defined and I literally just rinsed it out. I haven't come through it or anything. Now I'm about to get into this heavy uh, conditioner for coilies. This thing is thick, thick, look at this. Thicker than a snicker, for real. We use this, I'm gonna cover it with a cap and I'm also going to apply some heat on this. If I were to buy the conditioner again, I would buy the intensive one because this one, this heavy one is it's a little too heavy for your girl. Like it's so heavy, it should be in a jar, like not as squeezy out because it's like I'm using the jaws of life to get this out of here. Oh, and I'm about to try this bang out on this wash and go today, you guys. Wish me luck. But since I got these roots touched up, I'm feeling myself and I'm about to try something new. I was supposed to send her to the dryer, brought the dryer out, but my phone kept ringing. It never happened, but once the this did sit in my hair for like 40 minutes, so my hair is nice and conditioned. Um, I got shrinkage and stuff happening. It absorbed really nicely. Now I'm gonna go rinse this out. It is rinsed out. I have not detangled my hair or anything. I just literally rinsed it out. It's nice 
to find. It feels really soft. Now I'm about to get into my favorite combo. This curl gel and leave in. But I'm missing something. My wet line extreme is bay. That thing make my wash and goes last. Like I feel like this will give me like three, four days of like a pop and wash and go. That wet line extreme will give me like a week, week and a half. I think like last time I went 10 days. I stretched it, it was too long without washing my hair. And don't nothing hit like that. 10 days with one refresh, you can't beat that. That is the one. Let me go grab Bay real quick. Bay, like this is the one. This big old jar, like I've made a dent up in there. This thing gets things done. So I was just realizing that it is, let's say like it's seven o'clock. I started this wash and go at like 4.30. Why do wash days take so long at home? Um, damn, I ain't got my spray bottle. I am sure. My Ulta and Westwood, my girl Masha, she bangs at my wash and goes for me. Two hours. I'm in and out, I'm styled, I am deep conditioned, and I just be wondering when I'm sitting here, why can't I do this in two hours? That is my goal. I'll be like, I'm gonna start early, I'm gonna get it done, and it just don't ever work out that way. And I have yet to understand why. One day, it's gonna happen, I'm gonna get this done in two hours. My hair just came a long way, okay. Okay, Coral. Pattern really did think of everything. I got my little pattern bag that I keep my little tools in. My little detangling brushes and stuff. And my little clippy clips. At least I'm faster at this part now. It's wet. I don't need to add nothing else. This would be the leave-in that's not open. Anything that I love, I have more than one of because what I can't do is be diving into something and then squeeze ain't no more. Take this. Little glob praying heads method. Just get it up in there. Tangle my little pattern brush. Add my little curl gel on top. Add some more water. Finish with my wet line. Just rake it through there. And add a little bit more water. Oh, got some little hang time back here. Y'all swear be the little things that excite me. Curls look good. I haven't even defined them yet. I'm gonna pull out my Denman. Pop these things real quick. So that I don't mix, miss a section or like kind of like stuff up. I usually just take a little clip or something and put it right there to keep it divided. Keep it going. At this point, y'all know the drill because these are my go-tos. So I'm just gonna get into this. And because I'm gonna try the bang today for the first time, um, I will meet you guys back when I get to the top and get to putting this hair on my face. I made it to the front. I got enough hang time now to do a little bang, so I'm trying to get into that. It's new to me, guys. My sprayer is spraying plenty, and I don't like that. I love how my hair feels, and I love that I really did not comb my hair out at all. Like from start to finish with this process. It just made everything real easy. It was less work for me. I'm terrible about combing out my hair, believe it or not. I forget to do that. I was gonna put some clips um, <laughs> up here for volume that's what i'd be seeing them do at the shop well in the little diva curl videos with the diva cuts it's a few little hairs i just want to cut i don't know if i'm cutting the wrong hairs from the wrong place but i just feel like they do not belong i'm not an expert so i'm gonna leave it alone i'm gonna let it air dry for a little bit i'm gonna sit under the dryer and then i'm gonna pick it out and we're gonna see what this come out like 
but we're gonna see if this bayang came through for your girl so it's the next morning take my little bonnet off i stretched my hair last night the no heat stretch way with the bands you gotta stretch your hair like the way that you're going to wear it and when you do that it just makes life easier and it creates less frizz didn't sleep well last night so i got my eye patches on so i can do puff oh before i do that i forgot the scalp serum so when i stretch in my hair i created parts so now that i have parts or something like that i get to rub that into my hair Ooh, this stuff thick thick it is cooling it does tingle a little bit it's great to calm your roots it's slightly tingle tingly super hydrating and this dermatologist tested serum will give your scalp a sense of relief from tight styles as it sinks into your roots formulated with like rosemary lavender oil to create that for you this stuff is thick my scalp almost feels wet like I'm like, I don't even know if that was a good idea, like, <laughs> but we're here now, so we're going we gonna to do this. I will be using this next time I braid my hair or like for like my hair braids underneath my wigs. I think it's great for that. Yes, this is a clip holding up my towel because I did the other mask with the rice water. You know about the scalp serum and I used it, but right now would be the perfect time to use it in the right way. So I'm just gonna insert this in here. I just braided my hair, um, it was wash day. It's literally 1.42 a.m. in the morning because everything I had to do for wash day, I like blow dried it, trimmed it, then I had to put these braids in because tomorrow I'm gonna put my wig on. And then after that, I'm going into my crochet braids. So I just wanted to get it ready. But like right now, it's kind of tight, it's pulling. So I'm just gonna take this and hit the scalp. It's really soothing. And this is gonna help my scalp a while. I'll put my hair away for a while. Yeah, it's very like pepperminty. It reminds me of like if melanin had a scalp serum, what it would smell like because all of their stuff is very like pepperminty massage it into the scalp we are all set my scalp is getting some tlc and some hydration so now that it's apart i'm just gonna kind of like pick it apart trying to create as less frizz and fluff as possible remember this is the first time i'm attempting my bang pretty much keeping this video all things pattern for the most part this pattern pick the dope part about it is these tips right here is you can apply your oil to the tips and oil your scalp that way and hit the roots for me because i'm going to fluff this out this way i'm going to push out that way same thing with this push out that way it's a lot harder than it seems i'll be feeling like my hair is long enough and then sometimes i feel like it's not and then i just push it back per always but i really wanted to try something new this time and i really wanted to like not make a mess and just let them blow almost feel like i gotta put a scarf on it to tie it down man i've been awkward stage for so long and yesterday i was excited when i just realized how long my back had been because it used to be so short like my back is not the same length as my top because i had short hair oh no y'all i don't even know how this is gonna work out i'm trying though i guess it's a lot easier when you have more hair I might gotta wait a little longer to do the bayang because I don't know if this hair is about to give what need to be gay. I am new to this and I don't want to create more frizz. I would like for it to be more defined and I feel like once I like sleep on this, it'll give me more of what I need. But I feel like this side over here is coming together. Let me turn around and look at the back to see if I still have gaps from my thing. So I'm gonna figure out how to make this pop and how to make this hair go, cause I don't want it to look dry. I'm just gonna use um, a little serum oil. Give it a scrunch. This one is from TGIN. It smells freaking amazing. Probably get some edge control and kinda do something with these edges real quick. Cause we are here for team bang. I'm gonna make this work. Looks a little crazy right now, but I'll make it happen. After some consideration, I don't think we're quite ready for this bang. So 
I am going to let the top do what it do, kind of hang forward some, but them sides got to go up. But we can help it with the going forward. I'll put this little clip on and just let it sit right here. Take my pattern edge control. Get some slickness happening. And we just gonna brush it, slick it up. Take what's there. And that's gonna be that over there. Same thing on this side over here. Pull some out from a little side piece. Now I'm trying to see if I can get this to kind of do something. I don't think I am. We just go slightly push this back a little bit, nothing major. This right here, I can actually live with. Add some water here. Get my little curly cue. And just to like freshen up my hair, I'm gonna take my pattern hydrating mist. Spray it on my hair. Give us some love. Use this edge control. Even though I can't do no baby hairs, we still need to make sure that them is laying and give them what it needs to be gave over here. My little fro is getting bigger at the end of the day. This hair is a big, big. They getting all this drama today. And as I sleep on it, it's only gonna get bigger. It's only gonna get prettier. I'm excited for all the drama and all this black girl road is happening right now. I like how my hair looks. I love how it feels. Ultimately, I discovered today, I got to wait a little bit longer to get with this baying, but till then, y'all gonna get all this forehead. Um, my hair feels amazing. This is great, because this is really good for my braids. I don't know that I would use it for my wash and goes. I would use a different oil for my wash and goes. And then the treatment, that's also great. My hair felt really strong and I can't say that my hair has ever really felt strong with any product that I use. Like it'll feel really soft or it'll feel really dry. This product made my hair feel strong like somewhere in the middle and it was really defined. Um, if you watch me, you already know how much I love the rest of the pattern products. So these two for, for sure are going to be a part of my regimen. Um, but that said, you guys, if you have tried this, please let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell so that you can get my notifications for my next video. And until then, I will see you in my next video. Mwah.